This is Jose Claudio, and by the end of this video, you're going to know how much marketing agencies charge for their services. If this type of content interests you, drop a like. This content is taken straight from a blog. If you Google search or Bing search, how much do marketing agencies charge LG and marketing group? Or even if you flip it around the other way, LG and marketing group, how much do marketing agencies charge? Our result will be the top and you'll be able to see our post and on our post we'll have infographics we'll have our cited sources we'll have a really in-depth analysis on this subject with um, with pictures and other videos so <clears throat> typically marketing agencies go by a retainer method typically to start you're looking at about a thousand dollar retainer to put a marketing agency on retainer and now not every marketing agency charges this way using the retainer method some do by the hour uh, some do by project it all depends on w their business structure and what you need as a customer now just because one marketing agency charges by retainer uh, does it mean that they are not going to be able to do by hour or, or change it around? Now, you definitely want to go and contact different agencies and see what are they willing to do to help your business grow. Now, the retainer to start is $1,000 typically. And now, with that $1,000, they're going to take a portion of it and they're going to use it for their fee because obviously there's a... A fee involved there's going they have expenses they need to pay employees to do whatever tasks it is that you need and they need to to spend time whatever it is if it's keyword research making content uh, outreach uh, backlinking what whatever it is for your SEO needs or if they're maintaining your social media if they're maintaining your ad campaigns it's a lot involved so you're paying for the work the time spent and the knowledge and the skill that they're offering what what they bring to the table for you so <clears throat> now these are um the typical strategies but uh again you have freelancers that typically they charge about 75 dollars an hour now with a freelancer you can coordinate with them and say hey I just need this and that done I really don't need uh, more uh, freelancing uh, hiring a freelancer would be good if you already have an in-house marketing team but yet there's a project that you want to uh, take on say for instance uh, something recently you want to add Google stories to all of your content and you need somebody to do the graphic design someone to do the ad copy uh, or just the copy should I say so you need somebody to uh, to work on all of that and then once the project is done once all your content has the uh, Google stories on them and they're all created you really don't need that person so you may want to hire a freelancer for that um, or a, a, a specific project so uh, maybe it is that project, the Google story, but you want to hire a freelancer just to do the, um, the ad copy for certain ad campaigns. So it's just, it all depends on what you need as your, um, as your business. Now, there, I have an infographic on that blog post that I mentioned, and you can, uh, I talk about how you can hire a freelancer for about $75 an hour, and the hourly rate for uh, actually the whole um, hiring a campaign, I'm, I'm sorry, hiring a marketing agency is somewhere around $160 a, an hour. So, you know, it, 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 obviously the, there's different prices and variables that go into this. So, uh, and then again about the retainer, a portion of it <coughs> is going to go to their fee. And then the rest is going to go to whatever um, that 
you, if you have a campaign going, so let's say for instance, you have that thousand dollar retainer and now you have a campaign, you're paying them for, to manage your campaign. So maybe let's just say for argument's sake, four or $500 will go to the campaign and manage and uh, the actual cost for the traffic, say you're running traffic on Facebook. So let's just say half of it, 500 is going to the actual buying the traffic. And then the other 500 is going to the uh, marketing agency to keep for their expenses and their fees. So definitely if they are a marketing agency that uses the retainer method, I would get that ironed out up front. How much are you keeping out of my retainer for your fees and how much are you investing into my actual campaign uh, if that is the service that you're, you're paying for? Uh, or some will do a retainer and then you have to pay a separate fee for your actual traffic. So again, there's just different uh, methods for getting the job done. Uh, definitely you want to go and speak to different marketing agencies and see what their different packages have and what they have to offer. So I have other videos about marketing. Take a look. This is all valuable information that you can, that will help you grow your, your brand. And if you're hiring a marketing agency, you're going to want to know what exactly to ask, what exactly is the structure and these types of questions can help you avoid from making a uh, uh, hiring a bad marketing agency because then later on, a few months down the road, you, you realize that you've wasted all that money. Now, subscribe for more content. That way you are the first to know any new updates that Google or um, any new changes that are happening with digital marketing. Again, take, out, take a look at the blog, LGM Marketing Group, and specifically if you want information on this topic, it would be LGM Marketing Group, how much do marketing agencies charge? Drop a comment, and I will be more than happy to answer any comments or any questions. This is Jose Claudio with LGM Marketing Group.